you okay? Yeah. That phone call, uh... Are you having problems with your young man? What? Oh, um, no. I'm not having problems with Ralph. Not really. Huh, but I have a feeling that call upsets you. I don't know why it should. Yeah, life is like that sometimes, you know, things get to us sometimes in ways we just don't understand. Yeah, that's exactly right. It's just life. Merry Christmas, Mackenzie. Merry Christmas. I'm so glad you're here. You're the best Christmas present I've ever had. He hasn't returned his calls. Has she ever confide in you uh, what this is all about? No. I do know she was upset about the plans for afterwards. The group wanted to go out and uh, party and drink, and Matt said she wasn't up to it. Yeah. Which, oh, thank goodness. Still, the peer pressure is so intense at that age. Well, you're made to feel an oddball if you prefer not to pollute yourself, compromise your values. Well, frankly, I hope she sticks to her guns and is never shamed into doing anything she doesn't believe in. Hmm. Looking back on these days as an adult, Mackenzie will realize that it has made her a far better person. Well, I should stop that conversation. Are you two talking about me? <laughs> well, you know, tonight is the big night and we were just wondering what your plans are. I'm staying home with the two of you. Oh, darling, thank goodness. That's very sweet of you, but... Uh, we're, we're not exactly... Uh, Electrifying company. Oh. Mackenzie, listen to me. Now, wouldn't you rather be with your friends, young people your own age? I mean, how often does a night like this come along? Once in a thousand years. Are you trying to get rid of me or something? No. Um, uh, of course no. not. 